my name is Angela Siener. I'm with Administer Justice, and today we are going to talk about payday loans. Today we are going to talk about four main issues relating to payday loans. First issue is, what is a payday loan? Second is, how do the interest rates affect you and your family? Third, we're going to talk about some other predatory lenders. And lastly, we're going to talk about ways to protect yourself. So first, what is a payday loan? A payday loan is a partial advance on your next paycheck from a loan provider, which is given at extremely high interest rates. So what's the difference between getting one of these payday loans and cashing your check at the bank? So when you go to the bank, you typically already have your check in hand and you give it to them and they give you the full cash value of that check. With a payday loan, it's a little different. You are actually going to the lender in anticipation of your next check. You don't actually have the check in hand. So at that time, you tell them what you think your next paycheck will be, and they will give you some of that money back in cash that day. When you do receive your paycheck, you actually take them your entire check. As I said before, it is a partial advance on your next paycheck from a loan provider, and the interest rates can be incredibly high. Second, let's discuss interest rates. Let's say, for example, you typically make $256 a week. You go to a payday loan provider and tell them that you're anticipating that your check will be $256. They'll give you a percentage of what you anticipate. So let's say, for example, that they're willing to give you $200. So you get your $200 immediately that day to take home with you before your paycheck. But when you receive that paycheck, they will require you to sign over the entire amount. In other words, they're charging you $56 in interest, which to think about it a little differently, that's 730% interest. For comparison, a typical credit card only charges you between 17 and 22% interest. While you may think that this is a convenient way to receive a paycheck early, you're actually paying a very high cost to do so. Third, I'd like to inform you about two other predatory types of lenders. Let's start with auto title lenders. An auto title lender will give you a loan and use your car as collateral. In other words, they'll give you a loan when they have something of value in hand, in this case, namely the title of your car. Here are the inherent risks with this type of loan. Much like payday loans, they also have incredibly high interest rates. While I can't give you any specifics on the numbers, it kind of varies lender to lender, it's incredibly important to read what you're signing and know what interest rate you're going to be paying. Secondly, if you fail to make a payment on these loans, the lender has the right in most contracts to actually repossess your car, sell it, and then still come after you if there's any amount still owed on the loan. And with these incredibly high interest rates, sometimes there is a remainder on that balance. Second type of lender I'd like to discuss today is a rent to own dealer. These retailers seem to offer an easy way to buy typical consumer goods like furniture, electronics, home appliances. For example, instead of paying the full amount on the $2,000 refrigerator, you could leave the store with a brand new refrigerator that appears to be at a very low monthly payment. But there's a catch. First, if you miss any payments, according to the terms of the contract, they can repossess this item at any time, meaning you could be two months from paying it off and they could come and take it away. Secondly, by the time you made your last payment, in many cases, you may have paid about $4,000 for a $2,000 refrigerator. What appears to be a great deal, in fact, can be a risky proposition. Lastly, let's discuss the way you can protect yourself and your family. Try to avoid these types of lenders by saving now. This may not seem like a viable option for you and your family, but I'm not saying you need to put away hundreds of dollars a month. Just start with a small amount. Have a small amount taken out of your check automatically by your bank, or just start collecting change in a jar around the house. May not seem like much, but it will add up. Also, you can put away part of your tax return each year in case something of an emergency comes up. Secondly, read and understand what you're actually signing. One of the hallmarks of predatory loans is confusing loan terms. 
Honestly, how many times have you sat in a store and read an entire contract and understood the terms? The confusion is by design. If you're confused, you aren't reading the entire contract and ex questioning the extremely high interest rates or the fact that they can harass and threaten you when you do not pay them back. A huge red flag is if they will not let you review the contract. Often they'll tell you that you have to sign that day or the amount of the loan will go down if you come back tomorrow. This is a common scare tactic to get you to sign terms without having time to review and understand it. So if they won't let you review the contract, there's a reason and you probably shouldn't be signing it in the first place. Lastly, you should look for the best loan terms and trustworthy lenders. There are many trustworthy lenders that will make small loans to individuals. Try to look at some smaller banks or credit unions as options to get away from the payday loans or auto title loans. Many times smaller banks will grant small personal loans and while there will be interest, they will not be charging you upwards of 500% interest on a loan and it will be a much more manageable amount. So in conclusion, I realize that many times these loans are taken out of necessity due to an unforeseen circumstance, but we wanted to take some time to educate you on what these loans are actually doing. This is not meant to scare you out of borrowing money, but it is meant to educate you and maybe discourage borrowing from an untrustworthy source. Thank you for your time and always remember if you have any questions about the contracts that you've signed, you can always contact us at Administer Justice and meet with one of our volunteer attorneys. Contact us at the number below. Thank you and God bless.